everyone. My name is Ariana and I'm a page at the Nanuet Public Library. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my all-time favorite books, The Glass Castle, written by Jeanette Walls. I read this book last summer and enjoyed it so much that I read it for the second time over quarantine. I'm now going to tell you a little bit about The Glass Castle and why I think you should all check it out. Jeanette Walls begins her memoir with a scene from her adulthood. While sitting in a cab in New York City, Jeanette looks out the window and sees her mom dumpster diving. Later that week, Jeanette invites her mom to lunch to discuss how she can help her mom. Jeanette's mom insists that she enjoys being homeless and scolds Jeanette for being embarrassed of her family. In the next chapter, Jeanette brings the reader back in time to her earliest memory of her childhood. At only three years old, Jeanette is cooking a hot dog over the stove by herself when her dress catches on fire. Before her burns are finished healing, Jeanette's dad, Rex Walls, sneaks her out of the hospital to avoid paying the medical bills. This is just a sneak peek of one of many stories Jeanette Walls shares with readers about her unconventional childhood. Throughout the novel, Jeanette's dad is known for spontaneously telling his family to pack up their belongings in the car so that the family can move to a new town. He calls this the skedaddle. Jeanette's dad convinces his children that the skedaddle is a fun adventure. In reality, the family is moving to avoid debt collectors and law enforcement. During Jeanette's childhood, the family lives in multiple towns across Arizona, Nevada, West Virginia, California, and lastly, to New York City. The family experiences new adventures in each new place they live, but the chaos always remains the same. In each town, Jeanette's dad either attempts to make quick money through gambling or finds a job that he can't seem to keep for too long. Rex Walls also struggles with alcoholism, which makes it even more difficult for him to provide for his family. It is not unusual for the Walls family to be homeless or living in an abandoned home. The novel is centered around Jeanette's dad's promise to find gold and build his family a house made of glass called the Glass Castle. You will have to read the book for yourself to find out how Jeanette ends up living in New York City after spending her childhood jumping from various desert mining towns in the Midwest. I highly recommend The Glass Castle. The honesty, courage, and compassion Jeanette Walls conveys through her writing makes this one of my favorite books. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about The Glass Castle. If you're interested in checking it out, you can read it virtually on Hoopla or Libby. After you're finished reading, you can watch the movie Glass Castle, made in 2017, which is based on the book, and let me know what you think. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye!